will see some numericals, solve numericals based on the kinetics of the radioactive disintegration. So these are the numericals based on the first order kinetics because this radioactive disintegration also goes to the first order kinetics reaction. Archaeologic remains of a wooden artifact was found to contain 32% of carbon-14 activity of what was expected in freshly cut wood. So find the age of the wood. The half-life of this carbon-14 is 5760. So by using first uh, uh, order kinetics, so natural log of 5760 time is given. K and 2.3 time we require, so log of initial is 100 and uh, finally 32%. So on solving you will get time equal to this much years. So this is one of the easy questions. Let us see some uh, one other question. Half life of a radioactive element is uh, 10 seconds. So calculate its average life and in how much time 75 percent of the radioactive element will decay. So this is the average life. So average life is nothing but the half of 1.44. So multiply the half life into 1.44 you will get 41.4 seconds. This is the average life. Now we need to find 75 percent so this is a decay so this is how much left 100 by 75 so this is the amount left so this k equal to using the first law of uh, uh, first law of order of kinetics so natural log of time is given 10 so 1 by t equal to this much so solving this equation you will get t equal to 20 seconds so let us see third questions the amount of carbon 14 isotopes in a piece of wood was found to be 1 by fifth of that present in a fresh piece of wood Calculate the age of wood and half of uh, this wood, wood is uh, C14 is 5.77 years. So, but using the first law of kinetics, uh, natural law of, uh, of T half equal to 1 by T, natural law uh, N0 by N. So, N0 by N is 5, already given here 5. So, what's found to be 1 by 5 of that is. So, this is 1 by 5. So, if you solve it, 1 by 5 1 divided by 1 by 5. So, on solving, you will become 5. So time is how much? So uh, time is given half life is 557577 uh, 5, 5, 7, 5, 7. and solving log 5 so you will get answer 12953 years. Yes. Easy question you can do by yourself. Next is uh, iodine 131 has a half life period is 13.3 hour. After 79.8 hour what fraction of iodine 131 will remain? So time is given half life is given. So number of half life will be time divided by half life. This is 6. And uh, we know that n by n0 is equal to 1 by 2 to the power n. So n is 6. So if you solve it, it will equal 1 by 64. So what is the fraction remaining? Fraction remaining will be 1 by 64. That is 1 upon n upon n0. If in 3160 years, a radioactive substance becomes one fourth of the original amount, find its half life period. So again, using the first order of kinetics. So natural log by t half 1 by 3160 log of 1 by 1/4. So 1/4 of in original amount left. So by solving, if you solve this one, you will get the half life equal to 1580. You can see this is process. You will understand yourself. The nucleide uh, ratio of tritium is to uh, protium in a sample of water is 8 into 10 power minus 18 is to 1. So this is the ratio. And tritium undergo decay with the half-life period of 12.3 years. How many tritium atoms would be 10 grams of such a sample contains 40 years after the original sample is collected? So in water, the ratio of tritium this much percentage. So if you take one mole of water, so one water one in one mole water, the ratio is you can see this is the ratio. So this into because in one uh, one mole of water there is two hydrogen. So the, so for two moles of tritium, for two moles of tritium means if you are taking 18 gram is two moles of uh, deuterium is this much. In one mole of water, so two moles means this much number of atoms of tritium. So you have to multiply a uh, whole into moles. This into divided uh, multiplied by Avogadro number. So we will get the total moles of total atoms of tritium in 18 gram. But they are asking how many grams? 10 grams. So 10 grams will be how much? So 10 upon 18 means this much number of atoms are present in, in the 10 grams of water. So by using first order kinetics, this is the initial number. So natural log by 2 divided by 12.3 equal to 1 by 40 means we have to calculate it 40 years after. So in 40 years after, uh, this is the initial concentration, how much um, uh, tritium will be left? So this much, uh, if you solve it, this much tritium atoms will be left after 40 years whose half-life be 12.3 years. One of the hazards of nuclear explosion in the generation of uh, strontium-90 and its subsequent incorporation in the bones. 
this nucleoid means this nuclear estrogen 90 they have a half life of 28.1 year and suppose if you take one gram microgram which is absorbed by a newborn child how much estrogen 90 will remain in his bones after 20 years so time is given amount is given so just using this uh, this one first order kinetics this by d we need to find out n so n will be equal to equal to 6.1 into 10 power minus 7 gram this will be present in the child after 20 years now next a sample of U238 whose life half life is this much ore is found to contain 23.8 gram of this much and 22.6 uh, gram of lead 206 calculate the age of the ore so initial amount of U238 is how much this is nothing but the U left uranium 238 left and uranium 238 decayed means this is converted into lead 206 so this will, this will give you the total initial amount of U38 that is uh, weight by molar mass weight by molar mass that is equal to 2, 0.2 gram. Now using the first order kinetics log 2 equal to this means the half life 1 by 2 log of 0.2 by 0.1 if you solve it this is nothing but the 0.1 this is 0.1 U left this is U left so you will get the T equal to this much here this is the age of the ore. Uh, 0 0.1 gram atom of radioactive acid of X AZ half life is 5 days are taken how many numbers of atoms will decay during the 11th day now we have to calculate the how many atoms left after 10 days then we can calculate the 11 days so for 10th day half life for 5 days is given natural log by 5 1 by 10 times 10 days initial amount is 0 0.1 so after 10 similarly for the 11th day log of 5 this k will be constant 1 by 11 the natural log of 0 0.1 by uh, 11 days n atoms so you will get this much moles so amount decayed in 11th day will be how much so initial amount that is 10th day minus the this is the 11th day so this much amount atoms has been or most of atoms has been decayed so total most uh, total atom will be uh, this multiplied by avocado number so this much atoms is decayed in 11th day and this much atoms is left two radioactive nuclei p and q have their decay constant in the ratio 3 is to 1 and one mole of each is taken separately and allowed to decay for a time interval of 3 times of half life of P if 0.2 moles of P are left then what moles of Q will be left so your decay constant P and Q will be uh, taken as 3K and 2K respectively so half life of P will be natural log of 2, uh, 2 by 3K and half, log of, uh, half life of Q will be natural log of 2 by 2K and total time interval is how much given so 3 times of half life of p so 3 into total times of p will be 3 into natural log of this divided by 3k p is this much natural log 2 by 3k if you solve it you will get natural log of natural log by natural log of, this will be 2 this will be 2 by k so this will be cancelled now for p so uh, there are degree constant 3k so 1 divided by natural log of k equal to natural log of 1 by np so this much amount of p left and similarly for q will be 2k uh, this is a decay constant 1 by natural log of 2 by k because time will be same and uh, into natural log of 1 by nq now you subtracting 1 minus 2 if you subtract this minus this you will get 3k minus 2k so this is nothing but the 3k minus 2k you will get 2k value and k divided by natural log 2 natural log of 1 by np minus natural log of 1 by nq if you solve it k by nq this will be natural log of nq by np so natural log of 2 equal to natural log of nq by np so n P is given 0.2 so if you multiply it this is cancelled this is will be equal to 2 equal to n moles of q by 0.2 so 0.2 into will be np equal to 0.2 so nq will be 0.4 this is our answer now a small amount of solution containing uh, sodium this is sodium uh, ratio nucle sodium radionuclide with activity a equal to 2 into 10 power 3 dps it was administered into a blood of a patient in hospital. After five hours, five hours, a sample of the blood drawn out from the patient and showed an activity of 16 dpm. That is the disintegration per minute per ml. This is the per ml. The half life of the sodium nuclei, uh, nuclide is how much? 15 hours. And then we have to find it. Find the volume of the blood in patient. First, second is the activity of the blood sample drawn from a further time of five hours. Let us solution. So uh, let the volume of the blood is of the patient is VML. So uh, rate of decay of sodium will be that is the uh, this much DPS DPS means disintegration per second. So per minute it will be if you multiply it by 
60. So it will become dpm uh, disintegration per minute in v ml of blood. So this will increase. Now rate of decay of sodium after 5 hours will be 16 dpm per ml. Per ml they have given. Now using the first order kinetics log natural log of 2 by 15. This is natural log of 2 by 15. The 15 is the half life 1 by 5 uh, after 5 hours. And this is given initial concentration 120 into 10 power 3. And uh, uh, after 5 hours this becomes so, uh, 16 into V. If you solve it on solving V equal to 5.95 in 10 power 3 ml. Now further 5 hours means after 10 hours. Means 5 plus 5 10 hours. Uh, so uh, the, uh, the volume of the blood will be Vx. So activity blood with sample. This is Vx. So uh, again natural log of 2 upon 15. 1 by 10 hours. So this is initial amount is same. So this is Vx. So solving Vx will be how much? This is dpm per ml for V. This total this amount is this much. V into X. So this is total volume dpm for VML. So if you find if you want to uh, want to for one ml, so you take the total volume divide by uh, this much volume, so you will get the dpm for one ml. So for one ml, how much is the value? That is 12.71 disintegrates uh, per minute per ml. So what is the volume? So volume will be uh, for per ml uh, per per second. If you want to go per second, so you divide by 60, you will get. Um, 0 0.2118 disintegrates per minute per ml. A sample of iodine-131 next numerical is as iodide and was administered into a patient in a uh, carrier consisting 0.1 milligram of a stable iodide ion. After 4 days, so after 4 days what will happen? 67.7% of the initial activity was detected. For that, uh, whatever activity was there, this much was detected in the thyroid gland of the patient. What mass of stable iodide ion had migrated to the thyroid gland? And half-life this iodide ion is 8 days. This is 8 days. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, using the first order kinetics, so half-life is given uh, natural log 2 by 8 and 4 days 1 by 4. Initial amount is A by A minus X. So on solving, A, this is equal to 2. So 2 equal to A by A minus X equal to A square, X square, whole square. So a by x equal to, equal to this will be square root of 2, 1.412. So x by a will be this much value. If you solve it, x equal to this much value. So x plus amount of how much uh, x by a minus x will be left, means how much iodide will be left, that is nothing but the 0 0.707a. If you solve it, uh, this divided by this, or you can say uh, this is the x equal to this much value, a. So if you take a minus x, so this is the a minus x will be how much? So if you take here uh, 1 minus or you can say this much value, this is the 1 minus, you will get this much value 0 0.707 into a, a minus x, a minus x, this is the this much value. So that's what does this means? What is the meaning of this one? This means this iodide left in is 0 0.707 part of initially injected sample. This is the initially injected sample. So which is decreased to 67.7%. This which means 0 0.677 in 4 days. In 4 days it is come from this to this level. So if this much iodide left then iodide uh, ion was migrated to thyroid is 1. Because this is in fractions you have to take 1. So for this much part how much iodide ion is migrated to thyroid. So uh, this divided by 0 0.0707 you will get 0 0.95 by this so this much iodide ion was migrated to thyroid gland so in terms of percentage multiply by 100 so 95.8 so if you multiply by 100 in terms of percentage you will get 95.8 percent of iodide ion is migrated to thyroid gland let's see next numerical a sample of peach blend is uh, found to contain 50 percent of uranium u38 and 2.425% uh, of lead. Of this lead only 93% was this isotopes. If the disintegration constant is this much per year, how old could be the peach plant? So uranium present is how much? 50% of U38. So 50% of 1 by 238 is the molar mass. So you will get the this much moles. And similarly 93% of lead is how much? 93% so of 1 by molar mass into 2.4125. This is a 1 gram. This is a 2.425. You will get this much mole. So total will be how much? So this plus this will be total moles. Now using the first order kinetics, this is your k given, this by time, log of this value by this much value. This much uranium left. So time is coming, 
थ्री पॉइंट थ्री इंटू टेन पर एट पर ईयर दिस मच ईयर नॉट पर ईयर दिस इज टोटल ईयर टोटल टाइम टू कन्वर्ट टू दिस मच लेड नेक्स्ट नोमरिकल द हाफ लाइफ ऑफ लेड टू हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व आवर इफ अंडर गोज डिगे टू इट्स डाउटर एलिमेंट बिस्मेथ ऑफ हाफ लाइफ इज सिक्सटी पॉइंट फाइव पर मिनट सिक्सटी पॉइंट फाइव मिनट कैलकुलेट द टाइम एट विच द डाउटर एलिमेंट विल हैव द मैक्सिम एक्टिविटी सो फॉर डिगे कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ लेड इज हाउ मच लॉक नेचर लॉक टू बाई दिस इज द हाफ लाइफ मीन्स पर मिनट विल यू दिस मच टेन पॉइंट सिक्स इंटू सिक्सटी एंड फॉर बिस्मथ डिगे कॉन्स्टेंट लॉक टू बाई सिक्सटी पॉइंट फाइव दिस इज ऑलरेडी इन पर मिनट एलिमेंट फोर फाइव मिनट टेन पॉइंट माइनस थ्री पर मिनट Now maximum activity is doubt on element. So we have the formula for this one. Maximum activity is T max equal to 2.33, and uh, lambda of B minus lambda of A into log of lambda B by A. In which the decay constant of B should be greater than decay constant. Of A. So substitute will be similar manner. So in this case again, bismuth is more and lead is less. So element point four point minus one point zero eight nine six, and decay constant of bismuth by lead. So if you solve it, you will get the time max will be two hundred twenty seven point. One minute. Half life period of this carbon fourteen is five seven six zero years. A piece of wood when buried in the earth had one percent. This carbon fourteen. Now as charcoal, it has contained point zero two five percent. How long has the piece of wood been buried? So this is again a first law of kinetics. So if I be using first order kinetics, log two by half life. So one by t equal natural log. This is the one percent and carbon fourteen is point zero point zero point two five percent. If you solve it. You will get the value of T is one one five. Next numerical, the activity of the hair of an Egyptian mummy is seven disintegration per minute of carbon fourteen. Find the age of the mummy and half life of carbon fourteen is five seven seven zero years. And disintegration ratio of the fresh sample of carbon fourteen is fourteen disintegration per minute. So initial amount is fourteen, and the after this much uh, some time it becomes seven. So again, you can use the first law of kinetics, first law order of kinetics. So natural log of half life one by t equal to natural log of fourteen by seven. So total time will be how much? Five seven seven years. If you solve it, you will get this answer. Next numerical on analysis, a sample of uranium ore was found to contain this much gram of lead and this much gram of uranium. The half life period of uranium is this much year. If all the lead were assumed to be come uh, come from decay of uranium two thirty eight. What is the age of the earth? So uranium left is how much? Uranium left is one point six seven seven grams. So in terms of mole, this is uh, weight gram by molar mass. Similarly for the lead, which is decayed, means uranium decayed or lead form is this is the uh, lead form. So lead form by two hundred six, you will get the moles. The so total moles will be uranium left plus uranium decayed. This is the initial activity by using the first law of kinetics. Uh, first law of kinetics, so natural log two by four point five one into Uh, ten per nine. This is the half life. So one by ten. Time we need to calculate. So initial activity. This is the this plus this initial activity divided by the uranium left this much. So if you solve it, you will get the time of the Earth is this much years. So this is also one of the useful informations. Our next numerical. Uh, one gram of uranium uh, radium two hundred twenty six molar mass is placed in a arco in an evacuated tube whose volume is five cc. Assuming That each radium nucleus yields four helium atoms. Four helium atoms, which are retained in a tube. What will be the pressure of the helium produced at 27 degrees centigrade after the end of 1590 years? I mean, half life of radium is 1590 years. Using first uh, order kinetics, so natural log two by so again two is missing. 1590. This is the time given. 1590 times, and this is the initial of radium activity. Initial one by 226. And how much uh, uh, radium left? That is initial amount by x amount decomposed. If you so if you solve it, this much amount of moles of radium you will get. Means how much radium has decayed? Means this much amount of uh, one atom of radium is giving four helium atoms. One more atom of radium giving four atoms of helium. Means how much moles of helium formed? Means total amount of uh, radium decayed multiplied by four. Means this much moles of helium we are getting. Now we have to use the ideal gas equation to find the pressure. So P V equal to N R T. So N is nothing but the mass of the helium. This is R is given this much time is given. Uh, this is the temperature three hundred Kelvin, and volume is given five mL. So five mL is five cc. This is nothing but the five by thousand. So if you solve it, you will get the pressure forty three point five four atmosphere. And this much helium 
uh, will create the pressure of 43.54 at 27 centigrade after the end of 1590.